Dollars Creative TV channel. My name is Veronica Willifield and I am a mixed media artist. And welcome to my studio. This week I am just going to play a little bit with dollar mediums and specifically the antique rub to make this cute little mixed media project from recycled materials. The instructions on how to make this canvas um, from a pizza box and how to add the eggshell textured background will be in issue 48 of the South African Artist magazine. Every month I share tips and tricks on how to use dollar products in the learning center contribution. It always appears right next to the dollar student competition insert. Okay, so let's continue. So um, now I'm just painting my background with a beautiful duck egg craft color. And I'm going to give it two coats um, before I start um, using antique rub um, to bring out the beautiful texture of the eggshells. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate both um, silver and raw umber antique rub um, to show the difference between a light and a darker background. So I'm using my um, brush to get the antique rub really in between um, the um, eggshells and I'm also just um, rubbing a bit on the side um, just to make sure that um, the effect is the same all around. I use a wet wipe to lightly rub off um, the top of the um, silver antique rub um, so that only the, um, the rub between the eggshells in the, um, you can call it, it looks like cracks, remain. It is very light, but you can see the glimmer or the shine of the silver between the cracks. And this is perfect for someone who prefers a lighter background. Okay, so I found an old frame um, that I'm going to use on this canvas. And I took a piece of normal cardboard box and I'm just going to tear away um, one of the sides because I want to expose the ripple, ripple um, of the cardboard on the inside um, to give my um, mixed media piece a grungy old weathered look.
I'm going to put it back in the frame and I'm going to use it um, as a mini canvas to paint on um, before I attach it to this canvas. Okay, so um, now that I've put this on top of my canvas, I'm thinking to um, change my color palette and rather do um, something a bit darker. So I'm going to use the Umber um, Antique Rub and I'm going to use it over the silver and it's not going to make a difference. So I'm repeating the process and just making sure with my brush that the antique rub really goes into the grooves or um, what looks like cracks between the eggshells. Again, I'm using a wet wipe, um, which is a soft cloth, and I'm just trying to, um, or I'm removing um, the top um, layer of the antique rub of the areas that stand out because I only want the antique rub um, to remain in the creases. And I am doing this because I want to give this canvas an old weathered look. So I'm simply going to use my um, wet wipe um, that I used to rub the um, to wipe away the antique rub on the top and I'm just going to rub it lightly on the sides so that the sides of the canvas has got a similar effect than um, the top I did. Okay, so now I'm just going to build um, um, just a few layers of mixed media on top of this canvas and I found this beautiful piece of scrapbooking paper 
that I'm going to use and I decided that I want my frame um, to be a turquoise blue um, because my color palette is going to be blue and red and I'm just quickly going to paint it and um, let it dry um, before I continue um, with my mixed media piece. Okay, to get the um, blue or um, turquoise color that I desire, I'm just going to mix a bit of the turquoise blue, the dark turquoise blue craft paint with the duck egg um, to get the, um, the same um, shade as um, I have on this piece of scrapbooking paper. Okay, so I'm going to put my frame aside and let it dry and I will continue working on the background of the canvas and um, collage the scrapbooking paper to it with gel medium. I'm using a liberal amount of gel medium because I am going to paste this over a textured um, surface. When I turn my canvas over, you can see that it was a small pizza box that I turned into a, a canvas um, to work on.
Okay, so now I'm going to focus on my um, smaller frame canvas and I'm just painting a coat of beach sand color over um, the piece of um, card box um, that I'm going to use inside the frame and um, I'm just um, giving it a coat of paint to um, make it easier for me to um, paint on the um, box um, without the paint being absorbed by the um, paper. Here I'm just adding um, some more gel medium to the back um, because the paper is coming loose at the back. I did not put enough gel medium um, and I'm just making sure that everything is um, glued to the um, canvas background um, before I apply or attach anything else on top of it. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a naive or whimsical angel. Um, I'm not going to even paint the face in. I'm just going to draw um, a circle for the face and a body and um, just paint it in a really naive or whimsical style with a dollar acrylic and craft paints. I'm painting very loosely, I'm just using some of the um, beach sand color um, for the skin, um, for the face to create the skin um, 
tone and I'm going to just um, make her hair brown and just paint her robe and maybe just put a red heart in her hands. I actually decided that I'm going to paint her um, dress um, with the same um, duck egg color that I used on my initial canvas. Okay, I've got um, a clay wing that I want to use um, in this assembled piece of mixed media and I'm painting it um, the same turquoise as the frame and once I um, put all the elements together I will see if this is going to work for me, um, if the color is going to work for me and I will take it from there. Okay, so I'm going to um, just um, give this um, round faceless angel a bit of um, depth and just add a little bit of contrast onto the um, craft paint that I used and I'm using Dollars Oil Pastels, it's easy to work with and because um, it is a naive um, picture that I painted I'm simply just adding a bit of shadow on the sides and a bit of highlight in the middle 
and I'm going to just blend it with my fingers. Just look how pretty this is. It's perfect for the purpose that I want to use it for. I'm going to put it back in the frame. And as you can see today, I'm using a lot of recycled materials um, in this project. Um, I'm an avid recycler and I love using recycled uh, materials in my art. Okay, so at this moment the blue is a bit stark for me and I'm just going to use some of the antique wrap just to tone down the blue a bit so that it blends in with um, the background and the collage paper I used and I'm just lightly going to paint um, some of the um, antique wrap and I'm just going to smudge it with a wet wipe. Okay, so yes, this looks better. So I'm going to um, just add my picture back again and I'm going to glue it with a glue gun to the canvas background.
Okay, so because I toned back the um, blue of the frame, this wing, the blue of the wing is going to be too stark for me and I'm just going to um, see what happens if I use um, some of the silver antique rub over it. Okay, so my gut feeling already tells me that um, this is not the effect that I want. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful wing and the silver antique rub um, really makes it um, um, shimmer a bit but um, I can see that it is going to fade away on my painting and I need to um, use a contrasting color and I've already decided that I'm going to paint it um, the same red as the heart. Okay, so I'm going to paint this wing red and um, I'll take it from there. Okay, so I've painted the wing and it looks much better. Um, I'm just going to glue it right next to the frame to give my angel a wing and um, I'm going to wait for it to dry. I also found um, a wooden cutout of the word faith that I am going to um, attach with gel medium um, just below the wing. I'm going to leave it in the wood, um, wood um, natural wood color because I think it will look um, beautiful with my uh, mixed media piece. Okay, so um, I've um, painted some of the gel medium on my canvas and I'm just going to um, glue the word faith just below the wing to um, finish my mixed media angel. And that's it, I'm done. Um, it is an interesting way to create a beautiful gift for someone or to make something beautiful for yourself. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson and I can't wait to share more of my ideas um, with you next week. Bye for now and enjoy the weekend. <laughs>